medical marijuana has been legal in Oregon for two decades. And according to the Oregon Health Authority, close to 35,000 patients currently use it. But the drug is still illegal in many parts of the world. That's why a woman from Taiwan brought her sick child to our state, as she believes cannabis oil can save his life. NBC5's Christina Zagami joins us live in studio tonight with their story. Christina? Last year, NBC5 News brought you the story of Jessamine Way, a woman with a brain tumor and severe epilepsy who doctors gave months to live. Jessamine credits cannabis oil to her survival, and she's been sharing her story across the Pacific Northwest and online. And her story made its way all the way to a mother in Taiwan, and now the two of them are living together in Merlin, hoping for another success story. Most parents will do anything to help their child. Or even it is uh, hard and expensive for us, but we have to go. Cindy left her home in Taiwan to move into a stranger's house in Oregon and hopes that stranger can help save her son's life. He, but he's wet. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, hey, I think he feels. I got a seizure. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you see her six-year-old Kevin having a seizure in the midst of our interview. No, 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 no. I got a seizure now. Unfortunately, this is the norm. Kevin has a brain tumor and is epileptic as a result. Remember what I said? Just let him do it. Okay. Don't touch because it's too much stimulation. Yeah. Jessamine Way knows the condition all too well. Yes, and I firmly believe that the oil I'll be providing her will do the trick because it cured my brainstem glioma, and so now she's working on his, so. Doctors in Taiwan recommended Kevin get the traditional treatment, surgery, and chemo. I can see they feel so terrible after the surgery. Some people just get disabled after the surgery. Uh, I really don't want to see my kids get that surgery, yeah. Cindy says she read up on the benefits of cannabis oil, but marijuana products are illegal in Taiwan. Desperate to help her son, she saved enough money for three months of treatment, spending last summer in California. It worked. We get back to Taiwan, the MRI shows the tumor just stopped growing. But three months wasn't enough. I want to get it better soon because he needs to go to the elementary school. So I need to try again the cannabis oil. Looking for more help, Cindy stumbled upon Jessamine's story in a Facebook page and reached out. We just live in a small house and whatnot, but when it's another mom that's having to deal with a sick child, I understand that. I can't say no because I know what it's like to be trapped in that hole thinking, you know, what am I going to do? For three months, Cindy and Kevin will be living in Merlin, where Kevin will follow Jessamine's diet and cannabis oil regimen, the way she's been living since her brain tumor was found in 2013. She says it's allowed her to beat out the six-month window that doctors gave her to live and keeps her seizures at bay. My story shows that mothers and, you know, babies can heal from this, then maybe other people will start to say, yeah, this really does work, and we don't necessarily have to do all the chemo and pharmaceuticals. Jessamine also helped the family work out the legal case. Oh, just like past medical history. With help from the Empower Clinic in Grants Pass. Help get some assistance with a medical cannabis card. Our doctor here is providing that according to the proper records with the diagnosis. While Jessamine is hoping to help someone who struggles as she did, she's also hoping Kevin's story will add to a growing message. I just hope that we can make it go legal everywhere because that way mothers don't have to come from <laughs> all the way across the ocean to be able to treat their children. Cindy is also hoping the story will help to bring legalization to Taiwan. But for now, her sole focus is saving her son. We should note that the Centers for Disease Control still cites a lot of uncertainty when it comes to using cannabis oil for serious medical conditions. While the CDC says that cannabis oil can help prevent an ease nausea caused by chemotherapy, they say more research is needed as to whether cannabis-based products are a better option for brain tumors than surgery or chemo. Live in studio, Christina Zagami, NBC5 News.